Welcome back to HWRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood, and today we're going to be breaking down Trump's little interview or his uh, meeting with the President Donald Trump. And it ain't no little meeting. It's actually a big, big meeting. And it was for Chicago. Now, I think this is a great start at things because a lot of, been seeing a lot of other media sources trying to shoot this shit down. But at the same time, they never was born or raised in the hood. And the ones that was, you know, they done turned their back on the people in the hood now. So they'll probably say that it was a bullshit meeting too, when in actual all reality, keeping it real, Kanye West sounded a little crazy a little bit a couple times, but about 87% of his conversation was on point and it was right. He had some rhetoric in there, but at the same time, he was talking about letting letting out one of the OGs, Hoover, and because of the impact that he has over a lot of people because, see, the streets don't have no structure to them no more. They don't have, like, people in power with, uh, like, rules and morals and boundaries and shit, like, shit that you don't do. That you, don't, you don't hear that no more. Like, there's just some things you don't do. Now it's like, shit, there ain't nothing you can't do. There ain't no rules or no boundaries, and that's what he wants. And he knows that he get him out, that he can contact different generals in different neighborhoods that have higher up power and rank. And that's a way to, you know, kind of cease a lot of violence because back in the days you could do something like that. You can call up such and such father, such and such this, or somebody in the neighborhood, and, you know, you could solve all that shit. But nowadays, you don't know who the fuck to call to uh, squash some shit or kind of settle some shit down. And then again... You don't even know if the shit will work because there ain't no, there ain't no, there, there really ain't no order in the streets right now. So that was a plus. B- bringing factories to the middle, to the Midwest, bringing factories and building up the economy from within the inside, that brings hella jobs to the Midwest. So I'm definitely for that. Not only that, factory, that's where we lose a lot of, a lot of our shit at because we really don't have factories that make hot shit no more. And that's what we need. We got all the blueprints. We draw them up. Like he said, we have all the ideas. But we ship our ideas overseas to pay somebody else to build the shit when actually people over here can really build the shit. So that was making sense. And that brings back more jobs to the community. And the number one thing that he said that I think he I missed was the problem. The problem ain't guns. The problem is illegal guns. You got people walking around Chicago that could have the right to bear arms and protect themselves, but you got them walking around like they fool. So nine times out of ten, if you ain't no street goon, they really gonna look at you like a plate of food. You better not ever get caught slipping with no big money on you, because guess what? I know for a fact this motherfucker ain't got no gun because it's illegal to have a gun. But I illegally got a motherfucking gun, and I'm about to get this damn money. So he made a point there. And that would slow down a lot of crime because a lot of them crimes, nine times out of ten, the only time people go to do a crime is they see you as food. So if you got the mass population running around here looking like food, hell yeah, the crime rate go be high, the robbery shit go be high, all that shit go be high. Because guess what? I know that you ain't. You too scared to even to go against the government to get a gun. So nigga, I'm about to just go ahead in there and take that shit. So that there... Actually, it would slow down a lot of damn crime. And that was two key things. The, the Larry Hoover and, you know, legalizing guns for people, legal guns for people in Chicago. But y'all let me know what you think. Because he also hit a point with that, uh, they try to say people is ADHD when really, you know, they just, the, the shit is boring. That's an actual fact. Because I tried to tell somebody I ran it too long time ago. They was taking medicine and shit. Don't you know? that my company cured them of all the, they was taking about six or seven medications, depression, anxiety, all kinds of shit. But my company fixed them to where they didn't have to have none. But guess what? You know, it's like, you know, people was crazy and stuff to where some fucked up shit happened to where I was off the person for a little bit. You Would you believe that when I cut out, I filled the void of all six of them medications because as soon as I, they didn't have me around no more, they started ta- they started back taking all six of them medications. So, you know, the shit is really in people's head. I even go back to when I was locked up. They tried to put me on that Prozac Ritlin shit because they said I had a problem fighting and shit all the damn time. But 
My nigga was next to me in a cell. He was in the hole, too. He talk about, man, that shit get you high, man, high as hell. I was like, man, I took that shit. I was like, nigga, the only thing I feel is stupid. That's all I feel right now is stupid. I'm slobbering, I'm drooling, really can't move, can't do what I want to do, nigga. Fuck that shit. And the next time they took it to me, I threw it back at them and said, fuck y'all, y'all take it, something wrong with y'all. And to tell you the truth, that shit actually fucked me up because in my 20s, I always had a little twitch. It was like a little twitch, and I don't know if people seen it. It's like my muscles just have a little spasm or something from that shit, but I'm glad that it it's out now and the shit don't happen no more but man i used to be like damn and it was a side effect from that damn that shit that they had they be put, trying to put you on quit trying to get diagnosed all the time ain't nothing wrong with you you don't like shit hell the, the the average person i don't know what but i basically what i'm trying to say is you can't you don't have the right to like not like what the people want you to like because if you don't like that then fuck it you crazy that's how it goes but that's going to be the show for today, so make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app, make sure you check out the sponsors page, and shit, I'm out.